the 80s. Jason, were you even born in the 80s? Yeah, I was. I was born... I know you won't believe this, but I was born in 1981. Steve, were you, what, were you, what were you doing in the 80s? I was at school, most of it, yeah. <laughs> I think we've got photos of you in the 80s. Let's have a look. But it's... Uh, 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 you're, a, you're a very pretty little girl. Uh, <laughs> that's just the look. That's what the look was at that point. Yeah. Thick hair, shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how Mickey looks now. <laughs> Uh, that is my first starring role, actually. Oh, yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's not normal. Um, in <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. And which one were you? I knew. <laughs> I knew it was hard to tell. There were girls in the school, but I, I fought for the role and I won it. <laughs> nice. You look adorable there. Thank you very much. Sure. Yeah, that was me. So whose football strip have you got on there? Mm. That's a Manchester City kit. About four years out of date, I think, as well. <laughs> uh, Jonathan, Adam, where were you guys in the 80s? I was at school. <gasps> <laughs> Jonathan, why don't you smile like that anymore? Um, <laughs> but back then, I think it was weird about that. Is there was a photographer who was a really very, very popular photographer. Whenever you took a picture, you'd go. Oh. <laughs> but you weren't allowed to actually lean on your hand because he said it changed the shape of your face. So you it couldn't does, actually go like yeah. that. So you sort of go like that. <laughs> so from that period, for about five years, the only pictures that were taken of me, I'm like that. <laughs> You were at school, Adam, during the uh, Yeah, very much so. You were clearly a nice little boy. I was out of my mind on tequila at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I was on holiday and I just discovered tequila sunrises. Wow. <laughs> Mickey Carroll, let's have a look at you. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's a photo in, finish for embarrassing photos. Mickey was in Club Tropicana, <laughs> clearly. I was <laughs> at my peak in the 80s. <laughs> you had to fence me off. <laughs> <laughs> just... Pure sex. <laughs> Three people uh, set within the eighties. How will you look like you're auditioning for Went a Ghost or something? Like that. <laughs> also, judging from the top, you were working on the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> well, Countdown was the first show on Channel Four. Yeah. November the 2nd, 1982. Can I ask how you look younger now? I was going to say. Well, I, I do. Um... You do, though. I mean, yeah, but that was, the, that was how you wore your hair in the 80s. That is not how you're meant to wear your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I it always used to so watch Countdown skinning up for the, my first joint and thinking... <laughs> <laughs> These people. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we, we better kick on with the quiz, I suppose. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh, All right, OK. Quiz. Right, oh, yeah. well, we kick off the quiz with a round about what hit the headlines in the 1980s. I'll just jog your memories. The 1980s were filled with catastrophic marriages. Charles and Diana, Den and Angie, Elton John and a woman. <laughs> <laughs> a nuclear meltdown in Chernobyl left the area devastated. Is it just me or is anyone else surprised? Three decades on and still no superheroes. <laughs> OK. Of course, it's not a quiz without question, so right, headlines round first. Um, now, we all know it wouldn't be the Big Fat Quiz without the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School in Neasden. They put an unusual school play on. What I want to know is what news event of the 80s had they recreated here? Let's help everybody! I'll call all our friends! Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Yes, we will rock you. <laughs> yes, we can be heroes! <laughs> Sure, I la 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 like it. They said yes. Yes. Hello, Andy. La la la, we see no one. La la la, we see no one. La la la, we see no one. Yeah. I got to go to the milk cup. Down your answers. What news event were they uh, were they recreating? And that was not the original footage. Were that was want? the children of Mitchellbrook Primary School. <laughs> I've got it, Jim. You got it. Next, so we'll write down your answers for that. Next up, we've got a guest question from an '80s comedy legend, ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Sue Pollard. Woo. Hello, Jimmy. Sue Pollard here. Now, in the '80s, we were all terrified by the Cold War, but we were cheered up immensely by Heidi High. So that works out about even, I should think. <laughs> but what nickname was given to Ronald Reagan's plan to build a new defence system in space? Mm. So Sue wants to know what nickname was given to Ronald Reagan's anti-missile system. 
You've got to write down the answer. Do you remember the Cold War? Do you remember that, those heady days of the Cold War? You no, know, I lived in um, permanent fear of nuclear extinction. The, uh, back then, especially mm. aged around 10 or 11. What, what was that cartoon that came out? There was a cartoon that came out that was just terrifying. Oh, when the wind yeah, blows. Yeah. blows. What was that for? Horrible. Just to scare me. Come on, darling, let's go under the door. Oh, I feel cold, darling. <laughs> this uh, I was the most grim thing I've ever seen. <laughs> And there was that terrible so idea that if, you, if it was coming, you had to urinate on a cloth what? and put what? it over what? your face. What? Yeah, it was. Just oh, yeah. no, that's just, that's get... what I told my brother anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. OK, next question. In 1989, David Hasselhoff performed his mega hit his words, not mine, <laughs> looking for freedom at a special live gig in front of a million people. In which unusual location did it take place? Yeah, you got to write down the answer. Yeah, doesn't he look lovely there? He, the looks, he looks like he isn't an alcoholic yet. <laughs> <laughs> Who's not ended up on the kitchen floor eating a burger? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's not alcoholism. That's getting in too early. Well, back <laughs> <laughs> OK, we've got a guest question now from the world's favourite weatherman, Michael Fish. Oh, wow. I bet you think I'm going to ask you about that uh, bloody hurricane. <laughs> well, that's not going to do it, is it? It's uh, actually too soon, Jimmy. 25th anniversary or not, it's too soon. Anyway, in the 80s, we were all told to buy new fridges and to get rid of our cans of deodorant and hairspray. But can your teams tell me why? Michael Fish, if I remember, he, so he mentioned it there. So he's the one who said, there's no hurricane, don't worry about it. Yeah and then it come and just ripped half of people's houses off. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I oh, know that, you know. But there was, like, people's roofs being blown off their houses. But they should have put them on properly, then. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take responsibility for people <laughs> having shoddy work done. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't seem that bad to me. I was still in work. What was your job at the time? I was a roofer. <laughs> The knock. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know you've got a couple of loose tiles up there? <laughs> right, let's have some answers. We'll have the some answers without further ado. We saw one of Mitchell Brook Primary School's unique school plays. What event were they acting out? Did you all get something for this? You all got yes. this, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, yeah. you've got... John we went with Live Aid. It's got to be Live Aid. Was the kid with the bald wig, was that meant to be Phil Collins? <laughs> yes, of course. What do you mean? He wasn't, was it bald, meant he to wasn't be? bald back then. Oh, but Collins has been bald since he was two. <laughs> Go to the hair s -s studio. <laughs> and also, I swear, uh, Mario from the Super Mario Brothers was not at live. <laughs> well, someone has just told me in my ear that is meant to be mid year. Mid year. <laughs> Jim, can I tell you how I gave money? Go on. Because um, I tried to bring things together. I'd sent some money off already early in the day, and then my girlfriend at the time said, oh, I want to send some more money. I said, if you give me a hand job, I'll send another tenner. <laughs> and she did, and I did. <laughs> and everybody won. <laughs> OK, so we all got That's live eight, so points all round there. Yes. OK, so next question was, uh, Sue Pollard asked you what nickname was given to Ronald Reagan's space missile plan. What did you all put? Star Wars, baby. Star, Star Wars, isn't it? Wars. I thought it had a nickname. Like, we thought Gary at first, and then we realised well, that, that's yeah. what I believe he called it. Yeah. Well, I think it's great that the president is watching Star Wars and copying ideas to defend his country. <laughs> <laughs> what if he invade on land? Just get a load of dwarfs dressed as bears. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Vice President? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you all got that, so you all get a point. Oh. I asked you which unusual location did David Hasselhoff sing in front of a million people. What did you get? A Berlin Wall. Berlin Wall. Yeah. Berlin Wall, wasn't it? The, the White yeah. Wall. Well, he claimed, he claims quite a lot of responsibility. He claims that his song was actually, you know, a big part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my question. Ah. How shit was communism that they watched that and went, come on, this is brilliant. <laughs> I think, but he was huge in, in West Germany. And I think the wall came down and East Germans must have gone, get us a trowel. <laughs> it was actually very dangerous, but tragically, he was unhurt. <laughs> and then just shortly <laughs> after that clip, George Michael came on and sang his new single. <laughs> George Michael start the cracking of the wall by just driving straight into it. <laughs> Oh, 
bless him. Um, so you'll get a point there for Berlin Wall. You've got that. Finally, Michael Fish asked you uh, why we had to get rid of our hairsprays, fridges and cans of deodorant. Did anyone remember? This was, yeah. this was when it was the ozone layer. Yeah. It was everyone got excited about the ozone layer was being depleted and it was being... But I heard a rumour at the time, and it's probably not true, because you know Michael Douglas quite famously came out and said he was a sex addict. I heard there was a hole in the ozone layer because he tried to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you all got this. We all had to get rid of our hairsprays and fridges because of uh, the ozone and CFC, so you all get a point there. Yes. Full marks for everyone. <laughs> so, at the end of the first round, everyone has four points. Marvellous.